Hello everyone and welcome to this end of year Prismic Chronicle. In 2024, we shipped a lot of things and we wanted to come back to it to ensure that you're aware of everything. We simplified drastically the way to access your content as a marketer and made you way more productive as developer to create websites with Prismic. On top of it, we made it faster to create pages thanks to a lot of AI improvement. So let's jump into the first category right now. The first part of the year was dedicated to solve most of the feedback that you had around accessing your content. And for that, we did two big categories of changes. We revamped completely our media library, making it way easier and way simpler to search for your media, but on top of it, categorize them thanks to tagging, as you can see here. And we also improved the way to clean your media library by adding bulk action, allowing you now to select multiple medias to catch your duplicates and delete them in one go. That was the first part of the year. We then jump into the whole experience of finding your pages. And for that, we revamped the whole page list and rebuild it completely to prioritize the page name and works as you expect it to work. We then iterated on it and added a few more features like filtering by status, filtering by author, but also having a sense of the last updated page for that. Accessing your pages and your content faster was just one step. We worked a lot on improving your productivity when building a page. Let's jump now into building a page just to illustrate that. The first key element that we've introduced in the page builder is the fact that you can now copy and paste slice. And we know that this was the number one request that you had in the page builder. It's really simple. If you want to reuse a call to action, a testimonial or a case study from one page to another, you can, as you would do on a slide deck, just select that slice, copy and paste it from one page to another. This drastically improved the process of creating a page. But on top of that, we added numerous other improvements in the page builder. Number one, we added the capability to create slice content with AI. Using the prompt to slice feature, you can now create slice content and iterate on it to target a specific persona. But we also know that most of you work on Notion or Google Doc when it comes to drafting your pages. And we added the feature called Smart Copy Paste that will allow you to easily turn a Notion document into slices into Prismic. Lastly, we know that you are more and more to adopt the translation with AI feature that allows you to open to new market by translating your content to a region that you are not targeting already. But we have more coming and our SEO assistant is being rolled out as we speak and will allow you to create metadata for your search engine from your page automatically. Those are a few elements that we selected, but there is more. And I encourage you to go to prismic.io slash updates to follow on a weekly basis all our progress. Let's now go about the developer's life improvement. The first big improvement is the release of the migration API. If you're using WordPress, Contentful, or any other CMS, this migration API and its dedicated client will help you migrate content to Prismic very easily. We've built a whole set of resources and courses that you can find here that will guide you through all the steps of migrating your content. On top of migrating your content, we've made the experience of Slice Machine, our main developer tool, way better. Slice Machine is now responsive to basically live close to your IDE so that you can model the content at the same time as you are touching to your code. But we also improve the way you can model your slices by adding new modeling capabilities. Typically, if you're looking to build such a slice with multiple buttons and a set of logo, you could not do that before. And now by having groups inside slices, you can create a group to manage your multiple buttons and another group to manage your logo. This will give way more flexibility on how you build your slices. On top of that, we've been working lately on improving the link field. Because when you build a link, most of the time you need other properties than just a URL. You need a text to come with your button. So typically on that button, click here. But you also need a set of properties like variants that will allow you to select if your button would be a primary or a secondary to choose like the type of background that you want. This is all for 2024, but we have more coming. One of the first focus of 2025 will be to support bigger teams. For that, first we are running out spaces that will allow you to segment your content into different spaces, typically a main space, a legal one, a documentation one, and then allocate roles to given people for a given space. So that myself, I can be a publisher on the main space, but not on the legal one. After this, we'll work on bringing native collaboration inside Prismic. The same way as your favorite tools like Figma or Notion are empowering teams to collaborate in it, we will do the same and bring commenting, real-time collaboration inside the tool. This is ongoing, and if you want to participate in framing the best solution for this, you can join our research panel and help us improve the product. All this is meant for one simple thing, empowering your team to work more productively, but also create more value for your business by allowing you to ship more pages to acquire more visitors and better pages to convert them better. I wish you good holidays and see you in 2025 for more updates.